Hey y'all, welcome to Forest County, Pennsylvania and the Forest County Outback Channel where we combine history with the outdoors. Now today we're on State Game Lands 24 at Galenza. Now we have filmed here before that was episode 9, the Cobb Canal, which happens to be where I'm standing today. And I'll put a link to that in the end screen. Now to refresh your memory, the, the Cobb Canal was used to bring water from a reservoir a mile upstream to power a sawmill that sat at the bottom of this hill here. Now that was operated by John Cobb and Sons in the 1860s. Now the Cobbs had at least two other sawmills in the Coon Creek watershed and today we're going to go forward in time and much further back in the woods to look at one of their opera other operations and we're, along the way we're going to try to clear up some confusion. So we need to get going. It's a long way back in there and as I always say it's a longer way back out. This is Forest County Outback number 23 Red Hot. Now we're getting there. Let me explain what is going on here. This behind me, this is Coon Creek or Big Coon Creek. Call it what you want. It'll answer to either one. Now this over here is Little Coon Run. That is not to be mistaken for Little Coon Creek, which is another stream that's about two miles away from here. Now we're going to head up here to the site of Red Hot and check it out and then another mill that's a little bit further on okay let's talk confusion now i've done three videos on this stream they were back when i was doing facebook videos a couple years ago so it's been a while now the first one i did i was looking for the site of red hot i didn't know where it was so i followed this stream until i came to the location and that location is not in dispute. We, we know for sure that that is the site of Red Hot. What I didn't know at that time is that there were three, possibly four other sawmills on this stream, plus the Sam Olar woolen mill. Uh, woolen mills are rare in this part of the country, but they're not unheard of. These streams on this side of Coon Creek all have their sources up in Clarion County, where it's kind of, it's flatter rolling country. And in the 1800s and today, it remains today farm country. And they raise a lot of livestock up there. And yeah, so a woolen mill makes sense. Now I hope you can see this. This is Coon Creek, or Big Coon Creek, and this is Little Coon Run. Now, the site of Red Hot is up here. Like I said, I didn't know that there were all these other mills. Now, I have information that puts Olar's woolen mill between here and Red Hot. Now, I walked up that stream. Like I said, I didn't see anything. It was early days. Maybe I missed something. We're going to look again. Now, there are some other possibilities. It's possible the wool, uh, Olar's mill was here before Cobb and was here after Cobb. It's possible that Cobb made a deal with them to build his his mill using and use their pond and dam which would make perfect sense if you could 
Now, 1,500 feet upstream, and we're going to look at this place too, was another mill. It's possible that that was part of Cobb's operation. It's close enough. It's also po possible that was Olar's mill. And it's possible that it was a place called Egypt, which was a, a sawmill operated by the Baxter Lumber Company from 1915 to 1920. Uh, I, I have conflicting locations on on that i have one that puts it kind of here but there's a total absence of pyramids here yeah i know that's a bad joke live with it but they had a railroad siding and they had some logging logging railroad here and i didn't see any sign of that there i but i may have missed something well and this is well actually i have other information that puts it up here on an area that is private property and posted so it could be there. Uh, now there's another mill up here, and there could be some some confusion there. I don't know. And then the wild card in all of this is the New York Oil Mining and Lumber Company. They, their letterhead took up half a page, and, but they covered all their bases. Now I look for that mill. I think I found the site, but like I said, that was several years ago. I need to look at it again. I wasn't certain then, and you know, I, I need to take a fresh look at it. We'll do that someday. Now, I guess if you're not confused, you haven't been paying attention. So let's head upstream, see if we can find anything between here and, and Red Hot. And like I said, we'll look at Red Hot, then we'll look at this place here, which we don't really know what it is. We're going through an area here where there are stumps from back when they logged the virgin timber here. There it is. See this big uh, cut stone on the right? Might be too far back, you can't see it. Big gap in the dam. The dam continues over there. All right, I've been looking around here and I've come to some conclusions. So let's take a look at the site here. We're going to concentrate on this side of the of the stream first. You see the dam up there. Any, okay. Anyhow, let's start with let's start with the lidar. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like it like that or not. But I, I, it's, okay. This this is hard to see, but here's the uh, here's the dam. There's a cut in the dam. And it doesn't show up on here because because it's a lousy print But it does show some buildings over here and it shows a pit over here where they dug out material for the dam and Okay shows a cut and uh, In the dam over here and in a platform down here so whoops Let's uh, What happened I lost one. Oh no here it is Okay, it actually the the slope shows up better. Okay, see the dam, or no, yeah, here's the dam, and then the cut, and then you can see a couple buildings here. Um, the aspect is just a mess. So, uh, something else I want to show you. This is a. 1865 map and it's I, I don't know what the term for these maps are because they show buildings but okay here's the red hot it shows the mill that's on the other side of the creek which is where it is and then it shows three buildings here and if you look right over here there's a the cellar and then here 
is another is an, was another building. <clears throat> and something I noticed, and I, I talked about looking at something after you have some experience. And there's this area down here, that that area of stone, and I really didn't. It didn't hit me before, but it did now. It, it's pretty obvious there was a building down there. There's a lot of stone, it's sort of square, and there's a lot of sto similar size stone down there. It looked like they were, they were building stones. So we're going to go around and take a look at uh, this stuff, and then we'll go across the stream, and I'll show you what's over there. Okay, one other thing I just noticed here while we're up here. Uh, you got that, those stone, that pile of stones there and then downstream from that there's a whole bunch of similar sized stones in the creek here so I think that this was the site of the woolen mill and I'll explain why here in, as we go around So here's the uh, that dugout area and the stone foundation over there. And there was some kind of other building up here, up on that bank. We'll go take a look at that. All right, something else I wanted to point out here. You see where the red hot mill is? And that road going off to the left and there's a branch up there I've actually traced that out okay that road is where it's supposed to be now anyhow we've got this area here it looks like there's some kind of a structure and then the dugout area over there and then the stone foundation. And I'm not sure about this. If this this has been dug out either, but let's go down and take a look at that pile of stones. Okay, now there's another flat area over by the dam. We come around here. There's that foundation up on the hill. And then this here. See, there's, there's these cut stones all strewn down through here. And it looks like there was a wall there. Yeah, see? Now, th this, this is not natural. There, there was a structure here. As we come into this foundation, there was a doorway here. Here's our dam.
Okay, Olar's Mill was here in 1865. Now look at this timber. This timber has been sitting in this creek since then. Okay, now we're assuming this dam was built by Sam Olar for his woolen mill. It's been here since at least 1865. And that timber has been here since that time. As you can see on this end, it's up underneath that rock. So, 65, 30, 150, 150 years, at least. Upstream side of the dam. Okay, there's the pit over there where they dug out material for the dam, which we are standing on top of. And the mill was over there. And I'll show you why I believe that in a few minutes. There's that uh, building. And there's foundation over there. Now let me explain why I believe that the woolen mill was here. I didn't find anything as I walked up that stream. And the site up above, it just, it looks like it's newer. But the main thing is, the dam was, or not the dam, but the, the sawmill was across the creek, right? We'll show you that in a few minutes. But these buildings over here, these stone buildings, they were substantial. And you don't, you would not build your house in the creek. And you probably wouldn't put that much effort into a house. So what I find on a lot of these places is the barn and the mills and that they put a lot more effort them into them than they did into their, into their living quarters okay your your mill your barn your animals those were the things that kept you alive for a house basically you needed a place to sleep and that's what i think that's why i think these are these foundations over here this is just too substantial to have been a house. Hey, I just noticed something else once we got across the creek about that stonework over there. Okay, here's the dam. That stonework, I thought it was just like the, the face of the dam, uh, but it is it's like forward of the dam quite a bit. And then there's a flat area to the right of it. Uh, that was another building there. Which I believe leads more credence to the uh, woolen mill being there. Because you had that, that building, you had the buildings over there, and then that one in the creek. Yeah, you had a had a lot of construction over there, and the uh, as I said, the sawmill was over here. Walk around, I'll show you the signs of that.
Yeah, look at this here. We're standing on a, on the breast of the dam. It lines up there, and look how look how far far out is that stonework is. Okay, that's you know what I said. Coming back with some experience, you know, and having a better idea what to look for. Yeah, see how far far out those timbers are. Okay, so the sawmill. So we, uh, it's the back side of the dam, that would be the, the pond over there. And we walk out here, and there is this cut in the dam. There's a sluice way here. And right over here, is a wheel pit and I don't know how deep that is it's I I I, was, I put a branch down in there and it was it went down quite a ways so that was that was a very deep uh, deep pit now just down below that look at that straight line look at that this this platform over here and the straight line going down there Got some stonework over there. And then here's this yeah, raised platform. Oh, and somebody else has been here a while ago. That's deteriorated. I'll pick that up in a minute. It looks like um, no, maybe not. There's a pit over here. I can say maybe it was well, yeah. There's some kind of channel here, over here, and it comes into another pit. I didn't notice that when I was here a couple of years ago. Now, how long the Cobbs operated this mill, I don't know. It was They were here in the 1870s. And, and I think, I'll have to look it up. I think it was in the late 1870s. They built another mill on Coon Creek itself. It was below Galenza. And that one was steam. Uh, and if I remember right, I'll have to check it. I think that was his sons that did that. Okay, before we head up here, I just, I keep having more thoughts about this, about the mill over there. And you see how far forward this is set, this log is set from the dam. So I'm, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say that this section from the end of that log over here, that's where they let the water out. Okay, they were they were they were channeling the water over on this side and it was going down there past that that building and that was probably well no probably the body it had to be that had to be the powerhouse that had to be where the where the uh, water wheel machinery and everything was located Again, this is a case of a photograph would be so, so helpful.
Okay, I had enough of this, we're going to head up to Egypt. I'm, assume, I'm assuming at this point that that was what that mill up above was. We're at the site of that upper mill and we got to go with this being Egypt. As I said, this was a, a small operation, even though they had a railroad siding in and some logging track, they ran from 1915 to about around 1920. And they cut mostly hardwoods. They also cut a lot of chemical woods. And for those of you who don't know, chemical wood is hardwood, small hardwoods. And they would be, a lot of it was cut starting around 1900 through the 20s, maybe 30s. And they would be sent to a plant and they made charcoal out of it. But they also captured the vapors and distilled them down to make things like acetate of lime and, and methanol and a few other fun things that are exposure of which is not conducive to good health or long life. And as much destruction as the guys who cut the virgin pine and hemlock did, the guys who cut the chemical wood really did a number. I mean, they stripped, they absolutely stripped the woods down to nothing. They were the most destructive of, of all the people who worked in the woods. So anyhow, let's uh, look around here and see we've had some uh, pretty strong windstorms lately, a lot of blowdown. But in the stream here, you should, yeah, you can see them. There are two large timbers, one on this side of that flat rock and one on the upper side. And over here is a low dam. The log pond was not very deep. This was a steam mill, and I think they had just had a portable engine. They did not have a, a boiler house. And I, there's the dam out that way. The mill would have been over here. We'll see if we can find any remnants of it in that mess. And there's a few other things to look at. So there's this large timber well I should say timber it's in pieces you can see the uh, holes where it was nailed or spiked down to the well it wasn't in pieces there was just notches in it but you can see the holes where it was spiked down to the stream bed and then there's another one over here And like I said, there's the dam. It was out that way. The mill would have been over here somewhere. We'll take a look, see if we can find any sign of that. And there's some foundations over here and a uh, stone line well, which is, you don't see many of those. I'm not gonna bother with the LiDAR on this one. Because the only thing it really shows, it does show this dam, and it shows a square area over there, which was the dit was the mill, and we figured that's where it was. And that's the only thing that shows up, only feature. So I'm not even going to bother bother with it. Now there's a building here. It did not show up on the LiDAR. Sometimes when you get a flat area like this, the, the returns just aren't very good. Now I said this place looked newer. It was abandoned in 1920. Maybe somebody maybe even lived down here a bit longer, but it's not overgrown, not completely overgrown like some of the other places. So yeah, this has been, it, it was newer than places like the Red Hot. A lot of apple trees in here.
Here's our well. You don't see many of these. You don't see many stone wine wells. There are a couple of cellar holes up in these uh, up in the spruces there. Then we've got this foundation here. And another one. I, it looks like it was two, two buildings. Pretty good sized building. Well, that was a good hike. It was a long one. I should sleep well tonight. Got a few questions answered. Got to spend a Beautiful, beautiful day out in the woods, and if you like, hit the like button, comment, share, and most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.